you've you've been asked about your comments on on slavery. We don't need to rehash that. But there were some critics uh, uh, that that criticized your comments last night about having black friends as sort of a, using a, a trope. What do you say to people who say that you've really had challenges when it comes to talking about race and are worried about what that would mean for the general election? We were the only Indian family in our small southern town. I was teased every day for being brown. So anyone that wants to question it can go back and look at what I've said on how hard it was to grow up in the deep south as a brown girl. Anybody can look at my record and see when Walter Scott was shot down by a dirty cop, how I made sure that the Walter Scott family didn't suffer because we put the first body camera bill in the country in place. Anybody can look at the fact that when we had nine amazing souls die in Mother Emanuel Church, I did something that no Republican or Democrat ever wanted to touch, which was call for the Confederate flag to come down because it would take two thirds of the House and Senate and was an impossible feat. I don't know what you're implying with that, but what I will tell you is saying that I had black friends is a source of pride. Saying that I had white friends is a source of pride. If you want to know what it was like growing up, I was disqualified from a beauty pageant because I wasn't white or black, because they didn't know where to put me. So look, I know the hardships, the pain that come with racism. It's the reason that I fight bullies every day when it comes to racism, anti-Semitism, or hate, and I always will. If I didn't mention slavery on that day, it's because that's an automatic. There's always been, the Civil War's always been known about slavery. I misread it and thought he was looking for a bigger answer going forward. So critics can say whatever they want. I'm very comfortable in my skin. I'm very comfortable with what I believe in, and my job is not to convince them. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.